currently 1-0. I'll take a few seconds. Guess we have to resize this window. Magic Online didn't want to remember it. I guess I should have put the deck list up. Lost to Dastro. Uh, we have an effect creature, we have protection spells, we have a second effect creature, we draw land. I wonder what place Prairie streams. There's only 19 lands in this build, but I've been struggling to draw lands like wild. Hey Noah, what's up? Be pretty excited if they uh, Path of Exile this. Wait, I'm playing the wrong opponent. Oh, floor. All right, well, we're playing the wrong opponent. That's unfortunate. I felt fairly favored versus that match. Back to streaming for approximately four minutes and make a complete fool of myself. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, what did I throw this time? Um, yeah, yeah, we we'll keep. I may have sent you trades that you should obviously accept because all of my trades are always lit. And it's not overly good, but I do think it's always a keep. Good versus some things, just not a lot of things. If they shock and spell pierce us, I'll be sad. If they opt, they're probably storming. We goatfish about the same speed as storm, but as previously stated, this hand's not very good, so. So that one's the newly controlled one. Pew pew. Oops, sorry about that. Let's closing to private chat. Oh, 
Oh! Okay, not a storm. Something else entirely. I wonder if they're a Blood Moon deck. Pretty sure I'm never supposed to go for a kill. Pretty sure I am going to go for it now. Between the spell sky and the spell pierce, we're probably good. So what happens here? So I guess if they restore balance, I lose all my creatures. Okay, so how do we sideboard versus that style of deck? We probably want you, we probably want you. We'll read this, creatures, battlefield, spells, graveyard, library, probably don't want that. Probably do want our miscasts. Do we want Vela Summers? They're good versus counter spells, but they're not very good versus lightning boats or restore balances. Uh, and I have no idea if they have anything that we would need to... Artifact kill. Pretty sure I don't need these. I think I'm going to trim this and trim these. I think I'll try two of them and then maybe change things for game three. Because I'm actually just not even sure that card's very good here. Uh, we don't have any nature's claims or anything, so as for Toad or whatever it's called be pretty impactful and we don't have any colored sources of mana so if we did this hand would be great could have arguably sideboarded that out but yeah I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna put that on the bottom and this is gonna be one of those weaker hands that I keep I have three interaction spells to try to nab it as for Toad is the main reason I kept this. Though I do expect this Noble Heart pretty much just dies. I kind of don't even want to play it now that they shocked, but... It's just a throwaway anyway. I'm going to play that too. Yeah, well, all the 
finding modes. Hopefully they try to see me in spirit, got a thing. It's good for us. That's not good for us. Another land would be good for us. I didn't even see him play that. Which means we're going to need to find another blue source before that goes off. Could just lose playing this. But. Third lightning boat. That's lovely. It drew triple the lightning boats as we did lands. That's unfortunate. And we didn't draw a second land, so we're going to die. Didn't really show me anything that I want these for, did they? play I am just gonna go for this maybe I'm supposed to bring in the other spell scat that's it's keepable hand but it's not great obviously I don't want to go to forest with this Just in case they have Blood Moon or whatever. Really want to draw a protection spell for our friend. Though, it really needs to be a miscast or a spell scat. So a restore balance would kind of suck, but it is what it is. Oh, well, looks like they have everything they need, which is awesome. I think we're going to do this. So don't think we can activate that Nexus without some kind of backup.
we shocked so we could use our waterlogged grove and potentially draw a uh, spell pierce or miscast or whatever that blue card's called. Yeah, unless I forget what it's called. Oh. Well. Can't beat a lightning bolt, so I think I pass. Kind of a good draw. Some greater Gargadon. I think we wait another turn or two. Really just looking for a land to be honest. I'm pretty bad shape right now, I think. Store balance is just too hard to beat. Pretty sure we let that resolve. Let that resolve, I have to have, within the next two turns, go for it. Basically, I have to just go for it next turn. Yeah, I think I'm fine with just going for it next turn. A bunch of cards in my hand that I don't need. I may just block and like use two of them. And by two of them, I mean up to three of them.
So if that resolves, way too many things beat me, so I think I have to dispute it. If they ever restore balance, they get us pretty hard. No restore balance, that's interesting. multiple blue cards now to protect us. Two oh. Think they win if they just don't fight for uh, uh don't black. They probably had some kind of other spell, right? I'm not sure. another match can't view any of my information the way I have things set up over on the side let's move some of that yeah well, let's find us another one Waiting on our opponent. Alright, we got our opponent. The viewed crouching pig. That could be me. I am a crouching pig. Lowish. They're, they're Johnny on the spot. Good luck. Have fun. Try our opening hand. Uh, hand's okay. I don't think this is a keep, but we're limit testing, so... Pretty sure this is a mulligan, but ad nauseum. Okay. Probably okay for them. Nauseum is one of the decks I considered playing in this event.
kingdom for a land, specifically a blue one. That's not a blue land. Could just be dead. All they need is a Pinted Prism, Fossa's Oracle, Spoils of the Vault. Kingdom for a land? That's not a land. And the game is probably over as soon as that's not a land. Because this comes off now. Could have had a spell pierce to try to, try to protect it, though, obviously. If uh, we hit any land, we just ground swell. But if we hit a blue land, we ground swell with spell pierce for the pact. But I guess their hand could be total trash, but it's not very realistic. As soon as they put Ad Nauseam on the stack, we concede. We don't make them waste their time. They already have the Phyrexian unlocked. Alright, so we definitely want counter spells. We probably want these. Probably don't care about you or you or you or you. Like that's probably the quickest things. Um, sometimes they have some discard spells, but do they have enough for us to bring in Vela Summer? I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll bring in Mystic Dispute. There's enough interaction for that. I guess we'll cut out some of our slower pump spells. Um, surely think this hand is a keep. Might even mystical dispute like a spell pierce or something, or like a sound revisions or something. I'm not sure. This my man is going to be tapped out in the next two turns, so. Might as well go for it. I'd like to see them just play two cantrips here. Sometimes they do play things like Path to Exile. Pump spell would have been perfect there. Fortunately, they didn't have six or concede. Oh, never mind. They're just slightly slow to, to the concession. I was going to say, that probably means they have it. Um, <laughs> quite, quite happy, happy they didn't. 
And now we're on the draw. This hand's good enough to keep as well, but again, it's just one of those hands that isn't very good. It's hard to get rid of a turn one spell here. Do have the deliverance, which is nice. I have a second land, which is unfortunate. See what they play here. We'd love to draw like any of our instant blue spells. Attack for seven, but that's not enough. Yeah, it's just not enough, and they have a kill anyway. So what am I going to deliverance here? Deliverancing nothing matters. Yes, I'll kill this, but it doesn't do anything. They still have six mana, so they still combo. And their combo's instant speed, so like killing this during the upkeep doesn't do anything either. Maybe I'm still supposed to just kill this during the upkeep? No, it's, like I said, it's instant speed. Killing that during the upkeep would have stopped them from... Would, you know, like if the Ad Nauseum wasn't in their hand, they lose one chance at uh, drawing it. Okay, so we they had uh, the swan song, so we weren't even close to winning. B cards in our hand, they need a specific two. But, like, the two can be quite the range. Okay, so it's a value nauseum means they need a oh never mind just annoying just annoying There's absolutely no reason to sequence them like that but it's whatever it's roughly the same amount of speed. Just couldn't give up the round one for the game one. Had to hit that second land at some point. So we need to win uh, 
We need to go seven and three, so we need to go four and two from here. Or sorry, five and two from here. Definitely think opponent has a better deck to do that with. So, waiting on opponent. Four matches in a row that we're doing the game creating. I will play first. No infect guy, so I think we get rid of this. Hey, GG's. I definitely think ad nauseum is uh, a much better choice than what I'm playing for these prelim things. Like, I was pretty jealous when I saw you playing it. I imagine it's working pretty well for you. Three wins from three games. Are you, uh, have you just played your first 10 or the, or are you like past the first 10? Oh, you're at 30. Did you play Ad Nauseum the entire way? Ooh, I've, I've actually not saw that. Like, I would love to be playing Ad Nauseum right now. I just know this guy's basically dead unless I got unlucky. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That, uh. Kills my creatures, right? Pretty sure I could just be dead. So I'm at 8 life at minimum and they have 4 cards in their hand. But they have a whole lot of ways to kill said Ink Moth Nexus. Likely anyway. Yes, that's semi good for me. I have to go for it next turn regardless. Like, it's not like it's not like I get to untap here and get another turn. Let's see what we draw and then figure out what's the most likely way for us to get there. So they they put a rift boat on the stack. That's uh, that's what I call pretty good for me. 
Oh, well. Well, never mind. Doesn't do double or anything, does it? This card's pretty cool. The foil, uh, like, showcase version of this card was super cheap. Why are they targeting that? Doesn't targeting me do the same thing? Weird. Maybe I don't understand that card. It reads like that's what it does, though, right? Whatever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, deals that much damage to target creature or plane. Yeah, they, they should hit me of that. Again, obviously it doesn't matter. If it uh, resolves, they're likely to win the game, or they win the game anyway, and they know it. But just wanted to make sure I knew what the card actually did. Uh, am I supposed to take these out, or am I supposed to leave them in? I think I'm going to take them out on the draw. This is a match that I kind of, like, wish I had Nature's Claim versus. I think I've wanted Nature's Claim in every match so far. Um, the main reason I don't have it in the deck is because, like, it can't really kill a Chalice of the Void, but it seems like it has enough other uses that, uh... Oh, yeah, well, I had to read it myself. Like I said, I wasn't even 100% sure. I had, I had to read it a few times there. So, feel, what, what I was going to say is I feel like I need some kind of enchantment kill. Because, like, if they just resolve Eidolon on two, I could have some problems. But I want enchantment kill that can also kill a artifact. So, maybe I can cut some of the dissenters for wilts. Maybe wilts what I need. I know it cycles for two and this cycles for one, but like it's more universal, I guess. Like I don't I'm not saying I want three of them, but like maybe one or two of these can be wilts. I'm playing Nomer Squats build of this deck at the moment. Uh no no there's four scale ups. They're probably just off screen where there's so many one drops in the deck. Uh, let's see if we can pull the whole deck up. Yeah, they they were just off screen where there's 31 one drops on the deck. Uh, I usually play three of these, but like I said, we're trying Nomer's build today or, or Nammer Squat's build today, and I'm not I'm not exactly sure if he got the list from somewhere else or he built it, but yeah, he, he he's checking out four of them, so figure we'll try that. And this this is another hand that seems good enough to keep, but like could be slightly too slow. I have, like, no interactive spells, but we have a pretty quick kill. Especially if we draw something like a spell scout, one of the three spell scouts in our first draw step. In my experience, these red decks just trollop over this deck pretty hard anyway. I'm scared to even play a Noble Hierarch, so... Our kingdom for a spell scout? I guess if they tap both their mana out, attack them for one. Do I even want to play that? Meh. Yeah. I feel like it's a throwaway card. Maybe it'll prevent three damage. It'll be sad if they had a land and a searing blaze. But like if they just lightning bolted, I'm not gonna be upset.
Feel like if they don't kill this elf, I'm definitely blocking. By definitely blocking, I mean not blocking at all. Yep. Definitely rather block that. Doesn't have trample, does it? Oh, that does have trample. Want, want. We are uh, not going to win this game, I don't think. So, what's it take to beat me now? Basically, any instant or sorcery. Guess I should have blocked last turn. And that's game. Yeah, maybe blocking last turn might have been enough. Who knows? Hey, George, what's up? Uh, two and one right now. Doesn't seem very good. Doesn't seem well positioned. Good luck, Solus. This is a pretty hard match right now. Uh, yeah, I guess I keep it. Well, that's not good for us. I would be shocked if humans was good. Be actual shocked if humans was good. That's kind of weird, right? Yeah, so I guess we take two damage and you're going to block? I feel like that was a weird chain of events. I also feel really far behind for whatever that matters. I mean, do I just have to let that resolve? 
I guess we take four. I mean, I don't, I don't really know. Go down to three, and then they have two cards in their hand. Is there anything? So we have to draw, like, Might of Corosa? So we basically need to draw Might of Corosa. Or to become a mess that's in our sideboard. This card probably doesn't do it. There's two blockers this way. But the odds are that one of these things just kill us. One of the two cards in their hand or the one that they draw. I don't think Snow's unplayable. Uh -uh. Started off good. Now we have to go on quite the win streak. Wait, what? Hold the right button. How do I close this? Probably willing to try up to 30 matches. Is this cat pack? Well, this sounds good, at least. We lose again. Just dead has been called. I'm probably supposed to not play this, but they'll always have a way to block it. Yes, I can't play this, but can I live three turns? I don't know. Yes, that's a cool draw, but... As soon as I use a fetch land, I take a good amount of damage. Well, that's just game, right? So this is nine. Next turn they attack for four that I can't block. Or sorry, five that I can't block. That's four. Yeah, I can't even play two spells. Oh well. I'm still just going to sideboard these out. I don't really know if it's right or wrong. I feel like I like that more than I like that. So we started off well, then we lost three in a row pretty quickly. So 
So what deck can we 5-0 with? What if I'm just supposed to sideboard that thing out? Just don't think that hand gets it done. I don't think this hand gets it done either. That's a play mistake. I'm certainly not attacking next turn, so I 100% should have played the fetch. And we're practically 100% dead. Guess I can just never play that now. I have to draw like forest, forest, and hope. Or land, land, rather. Probably actually need to draw three lands. That's a game. I guess we'll, uh, we'll play some more. Thou. They may show up at some point. I feel like these two people were playing the wrong opponents. Here we go. Hey, cool. Somebody's on my door. Uh... 
think there's some opponents this is good versus. It's not good versus anything with mountains. Yeah, well, we're dead. Pretty badly dead. Miracles just isn't well positioned at the moment. Or sorry, Infect just isn't well positioned at the moment. They've got five matches in a row that aren't particularly winnable, and Luck sacked one of them. That card's not playable at the moment either, but I guess it doesn't matter. Like, good versus practically only one deck in the entire format. That being Eldrazi Tron. Obviously, it's also good versus normal Tron, but I think that deck's so bad that I don't even count it. Well, so land be a good draw for us. It's not a land. Should have kept this member to play around Glorybringer, but like they have it, I'm fine with just being dead. Because I'm so close to dead anyway. We have no enchantment kill in our deck. So it's cool that they're playing that build instead of the Magus build, which more people play, but I do think the Blood Moon build is actually correct. Definitely can't win at this point. But, I don't have anything else to cast, so yellow. Don't really care about them getting to do that. Like I said, we can't win anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We're on a two turn clock, I guess. We could draw exactly blighted agent. Now we just can't beat anything. We take four damage next turn. And there's nothing our deck can do to interact with it, so I don't know why we're waiting on them. Push your button, thank you. We don't we don't have any cyborg cards that matter here or anything like like we're just dead. Practically a hundred percent. Like as long as they play magic, they win. 
I'm not gonna bring in the other dismember. I feel like I have to try to get lucky to beat them, so I'm just not gonna overload the spells like that. Yes, this is a keep. It's like pretty bad, but <clears throat> guess I'd spell Pierce a Utopia sprawl maybe. So if I spell Pierce a sprawl, it's probably right the lead on the grove. Not gonna play the elf. Though well, maybe I'm supposed to, I don't really know. They mulligan, so we're gonna try this. I have a protection spell now. Oh lord, I had to sneeze. Sure. W Dopia Sprout. It's pretty good mulligan. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to try to play this. Oh. They don't have anything? Uh, blood moves, nothing I care about. about that. Well, they need something pretty good to beat win game two. And by pretty good, I mean anger's enough. Maybe I'm not supposed to use a Pendle Haven. Maybe I'm supposed to save the vines of Vastwood to beat anger to gods. Alright, well, game three. I don't think there's anything I really want to change. Uh, we have some effect friends. Need the blue mana, we have a spell scout. I guess we just keep it all. Guess we get to pretend. Like we're playing magic this game.
Yeah. They have about their best draw possible. I only have two cards left in their hand. Never mind, they have Glorybringer too. We have now advanced to the 0% portion of this class. Kind of good for us. Never mind. We are now dead. Yes, we have a chance to draw exactly our other forest. We could have still won that game with that. Oh well. Yeah. Well, we played five unwinnable matches in a row going to go ahead and call Infect not a magic deck at the moment. Well, let's save. But anyway, um, that's going to do it for me. Thank you all so much for watching and take care everyone.